<laughs> Little tall. Like you literally so tall. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah, she poked through. You're huh? exposing yourself, babe. Look. That is... What? Oh, could be a rough and rugged, isn't it? <laughs> so you know the people can't smell you, right? Smell good? <laughs> Can you smell it? Smell a bit good? Yeah, you can't smell you. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing good uh, i hope you're blessed we have a guest as you can see well not a guest actually because yeah you're probably going to be seeing him on this channel more often now right right <laughs> yeah um i'm gonna let this gentleman sitting next to me introduce himself do you want to go on and tell the people who you are okay babe hi my name is danny and i'm the fiance that proposed with the bible <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you guys watched my last video, you would have seen that. Yeah, we got engaged, and you did propose with the Bible, right? Did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> brave, brave, but you know, I love it. That's, that's me. the best thing. Yeah, yeah that's the, the best thing. thing. Yeah. Some of the people thought it was strange, but yeah, you know, for us, stand. yeah, for us that was um, that was perfect for both of us because the mm. word of God is really it's changed our lives, right? It's what Massively. Us together. Yeah. yeah but yeah we did get some questions about our relationship personally and uh, we're gonna answer those questions yeah um, fine Best gonna, we can. yeah that's what i was just about to say we're gonna try and answer them as honest as we can and yeah. you know as open as we can Best way um, to be. shout out to delightful dawn <laughs> she sent us the questions in our last video Hi, good questions actually very good questions which mm -hmm. we're gonna answer but before we do that i think it's, it's important for us to pray right always yeah okay okay let's pray dear heavenly father we thank you for all your blessings lord mm. for the blessings of marriage for all the blessings we take for granted in daily life but most of all for your son jesus christ who died for our sins heavenly father we pray that you be with us and help us to speak to your glory because it's you that brought us together mm. and we uh, have clear evidence of that the way you've led each step of the way so uh, be with us now, Lord, and may we bring glory into your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks, babe. Okay. Do you want to talk a bit about your journey, like how you um, came from living in, you know, the world and just living, you know, for yourself <laughs> and then now living for Christ? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, long story, but I can make it. Just the bullet yeah, points. Yeah. 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 Because uh, people's conversion experiences are all different and they yeah. do take time. Mm. Um, although there was a bit of an overnight shift in terms of when I accepted the Holy Spirit into my heart. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was through a broken relationship actually. Because, you know, a lot of the times we don't really know what we want. And um, in terms of, you know, a life partner. And we're kind of, you know, dating, we're, try we're testing the waters mm. and we're seeing if we can find the one. The you one. Know? <laughs> Whoever that is. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're the one that God chose for me. Right. But in the world, the one, who was the one? Yeah, yeah. Like, mm. it didn't exist. And, um, yeah. you know, we often find ourselves disappointed because, you know, it's, uh, we, we think we fall in love, but really we want to please self and it's not what we're giving it's what we can get yeah that's, that's a lot of what society is like nowadays yeah. just you know consuming mm. everything and they're never happy you know it's all temporal and that's the experience i was having in the world and um mm. yeah the bible says we're to be in the world but not of the world yeah so um what does that mean you know you've got to you've got to get on with things you've got to work god gives us hands to work he gives us a uh, brain to think he gives us all these blessings to enjoy mm. um but to be temperate with all of it but you know if it if the key focus is yourself then you, you can never you can never be happy because we're made, made with that god-shaped void um in our hearts and mm. only the holy spirit can fill that 
And so after a painful relationship breakup, um, we'd been together quite a while. Um, yeah, really, it was someone at work that introduced me to Christ um, okay. yeah. in terms of he was telling me about Christ. And I'd heard bits and bobs about, you know, about the Bible, but it was his character that won me over, to be honest. You know, he was a mm. lovely, warm person. Yeah. Invited him around to his house and we had some food. And I went from there, really. And um, I remember when I went to church. That was on a Saturday for the first time. That's another thing. Yeah. Um, the Sabbath, but uh, it was a Sabbath-keeping church. And I've been to Sunday churches before, which were very um, informal, if you like. This was very different anyway, and um, so interesting what they were teaching. But anyway, it, it was it was the experience where they laid their hands on me and prayed that um, I, this, I felt a rush of energy coming on. And I just knew it was something different and that I couldn't have possibly, you know, made it up myself or anything. It was it was something that came externally into me and, and it was it was filled me up with so much joy, so much happiness. And it all went from there, really, um, to be sure. Yeah, yeah no, it's amazing. I think, like you said, everyone's conversion story is different, right? Mm. But it, it started a journey for you that's mm. led us here, essentially, <laughs> yeah. right? Because yeah. if it wasn't for that moment, you know, we never would have met. I know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah. <laughs> we, have met. we never would have met. So, um, it, it's, that's why I thought it was important for you to just share that because mm. that is really what has brought us to this place. Yeah, you absolutely. Um, oh, just a little, uh, you're going to have noticed the gloves for some of you, I know. Um, that's because I was diagnosed OCD uh, when I was 13 years old and it's been an amazing transformation in my life um, that God's done but you know I'm still on a journey uh, I did take my gloves off to propose of course I will on my wedding day of course <laughs> and other times I do of course and I'll, uh, throughout you know when, when it needs be but um, yeah just that little uh, Little things, so you know, we like to be honest, you know. Yeah, we, like to be yeah, honest, you know? we do. I could take them off, pretend, or why, you know. No, That's the point. no, and so. I love you just like that, babe. Good, praise God, yeah. Mm. Let's get the questions. All right, so question number one How did you guys meet? Do you want to tell a story, or should I start and then go ahead? Okay, right. so how did we meet? <laughs> um, to be honest, I have to give all credit to God to begin with because mm. our meeting was. Uh, providential absolutely it was God's hand leading in the way we met um, because I I was coming in new to certain like truths that the Bible teaches um, and I was just so inspired to share these truths with people that I was impressed to print out flyers and go on the street by myself and start sharing them to people Praise God. Um, yeah, because some bravery. <laughs> well, well, he gave you the courage, right? Yeah, praise God. Because I was, I was actually a bit fearful when I was going to tell you the truth, because mm. I thought, you know, I need help. Like I don't want to go out by myself and then get in trouble somewhere. But I just, I felt impressed that I needed to do that because mm. there were certain truths in the Bible that I thought people need to know this. Like mm. people need to understand the times that we're living in. So I went out with this flyer and then I prayed before just for some help like you know if god could send help and i kid you not as i went into the town center where i live um there was like a stand and there were two men sharing this book called the great controversy and straight away i knew that that was the help that i needed right mm -hmm. and if you've seen if you've seen one of my previous videos i've actually posted where we were in the streets sharing out this book the great controversy and and you know mm. talking to people telling them about the message um for the, for the last days that christ has given to us the prophetic message mm. um and so it was through meeting this outreach it's actually called loud crime ministries shout out to loud crime ministries <laughs> <laughs> just through that meeting um i just felt like this was the help this was the answer to my prayer and mm. i needed to join them you know actually um one of the men asked me and said do you want to join us and i was like yes yes so i joined them i was sharing my flyers i was sharing books and i was like this is amazing this is you know this is what i want to be doing mm. right now with my time and then um they actually told me that they go on different like locations in different parts of the country just giving out these books and if i wanted to join them to go to these places and i was like yes sign me up <laughs> then it was through that that you know going to one of the events i think it was a london one wasn't it 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we we all met at a location, right, to go out to London to distribute books. Mm-hmm. We met at um, another brethren's house, and uh, normally we all gather together. We say a prayer before mm-hmm. we head off. So early think, hours, wasn't it as well? Yeah, it was quite so early. I couldn't really see you, to be fair. Yeah, it was quite <laughs> early in the morning as well that day because we didn't want to nearly, get to London late. The street lamps were still on. It was dark. Yeah, it was still dark. And just the kind of hey, nice yeah. to nice to meet you. And mm. I was just focused on the mission. Yes, uh, but I did think, oh, who is this? Did you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At the first, I think because you and uh, Garwin so was there. Yeah, because you know I saw Sister Nikki give you like this big hug, and then I was like, oh, who is that? You know, because I hadn't seen you before. Because I'd been a few times to um, share books, but I'd, I hadn't seen him. I'd not been for a while. Yeah. yeah. So that was the first time. Um, but then when we got in the van, I think you sat at the back. Yeah. And then I, I was, was in tired. The I was catching up on some sleep, I remember. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you want to, like, carry on the rest of the story? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, um, we didn't really talk much, did we? We did a bit, but... Just um, a bit, but not much. Because uh, all, all the way there, she was speaking to another man. He was yeah. a married man. I mean, that's okay, but, um, you know, I was like, okay, why is he hugging? Hugging all of it. <laughs> I was thinking, why can't I get a chance to talk to this? So, even back then, I knew, like, I was drawn towards her for some reason. I was thinking, that's strange, you know. Um, I don't even know her. But yeah, you did turn around um, on the way back and were asking me um, some questions. And mm. I really loved her sort of inquisitive mind. I think I think our first conversation was always like um, something about the scriptures. I think I said something like oh, casting down imaginations, or something. and then you completed the the scripture, and yeah. I was like, <laughs> and I think that's when I turned around and, and spoke to you a bit more. Mm. Yeah, so I remember that. I just that. sensed something that God was lead, like saying. This is a good woman. I don't know. I didn't even know you. That was a crazy no, thing. Yeah, like just yeah. an inkling, you know. Yeah. Right from when I first saw you, um, mm. and when you well when you were talking to uh, Brother Desire. So, which is you know, yeah, it's crazy. Um, yeah. I think the Holy Spirit was working. <laughs> that's that's what I will say. And uh, we sang some like hymns in the car as well yeah, we on the way there, which was really nice. Um, I but... remember you had a nice voice. And I thought that's uh, that's good. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've been praying yeah. for someone who can sing. Oh wow! Okay, that yeah. was that was how we met. I think from the first time I met mm. you as well, I felt drawn to you. I, mm. I didn't know why, but you know, I just yeah, I felt like mm. God's. I think it was definitely God's spirit Holy thinking spirit. about it now. Yeah. Um, and I think after that first meet, we swapped numbers, didn't we? We did. We did. To be honest, I wasn't thinking anything more than just get people's mm. numbers who are in outreach because they have the same mindset. Mm. And they're the same, like, um, they're driven by the same goal, which is mm. to share, um, you know, the great controversy. You should share Christ's end time message mm. and to wake people up. And so, to be completely honest, you know, I didn't ask for your number because at the time I was talking to another girl who was just a friend, but we were close. And um, later, you know, the Lord impressed me. She's not to be, she's not to be my wife. Mm. He made that very clear. But you just popped up like out of nowhere, didn't expect it, uh, <laughs> challenged me completely because I was just like, there's something different about that girl. Right. And then when we'd exchanged numbers, you did ask me a couple of questions, didn't you? Like, uh, did you call yeah. one time? Hmm? Or did I call you? No, no, I think I sent you a message just saying, text or something, yeah, like, just happy text. birthday or something. No, I just said, I hope you, you know, you guys got home safe. And then but that was it. Yeah. And then Which I asked I you was for, nice. yeah, I asked you for some information about the apps that you told me about oh, when yeah, we were yeah, on the yeah. bus. Cause I did, I was interested in learning more. Hmm. So, um, and he's, he's been an Adventist. Hmm. If you don't know, that's the church we go to. And that's the beliefs that we hold, mm-hmm. which is all Bible based. But I was new to it, fairly new, so I thought it's someone I could learn from because, you know, you've been an Adventist for what? About seven years. Seven years, yeah. Baptized, yeah. yeah. So I thought I could learn some, you know, practical... Um, six years baptised. Right. Just to be... Six years baptised. Okay. The seven years, you know, learning the truth. Yeah, yeah. so I thought he's, you know, he's, he's not married. To be honest, I was just thinking he's not married, so it's not like I'll be... Stepping on Stepping anyone's, on anyone's toes. toes. Yeah, it's not, it's not like I'll be like mm. wanting to learn from. Because the boundaries are important. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so, when it comes to opposite sex communications. You know. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, I felt comfortable enough to just message him and ask 
helpful was some more information about you know practical things about the Adventist faith mm. and so he sent me an app called EG White Writings and I was able to like download it and it's been a blessing so mm. thanks Same for that thing. Babe. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah so that was our first meet and that was pretty much how things progressed from then on you mm -hmm. know um, I think we were talking many as friends for quite a while long conversations <laughs> long conversations though to be honest very long some... longest ones I've ever had yeah one of them was like what should we say what six hours one of them was literally six like... hours huh? I think that was after we probably started dating I think yeah it wasn't straight away yeah. no I think the first like one was still about an hour and, hour and a half <laughs> Still quite what were we talking about? I was travelling, driving back home from, from a job. Oh, that's it, yeah. I'm yeah, just talking yeah. about church, talking yeah, about yeah. tithes, talking about all sorts of different um, different things. Yeah. Big, yeah. Biblical things. But that was it, the conversation was always on God. Now, it was, it was serious Bible talk, wasn't it? Yeah, it was serious Bible talk. <laughs> all the way through. I, I think I remember you one time saying, <laughs> what? saying I didn't just want to be talking Bible, Bible every day. <laughs> Because I wanted to get to know you, I think that's what it was. I was yeah. wanting to fire some other questions, but yeah. you're so keen to learn, which is amazing. You know? Yeah. So I couldn't not um, you know, help you. I know. Yeah, but no, it was it was um, interesting getting to know each other like that. But like I said, it was just on a friendship basis at first when we were talking. Okay. Next but question. next question. I think we spent <laughs> enough time on that question. So uh, next question is: Will you stay in the same town? Yes. Well, hopefully, yeah. We're we're, we're God praying, willing. so God willing, yeah. yeah. When well, um, we're married, of course, yeah. Yeah. Well, At the nice. moment, we don't. Mm. At the moment, he's visiting. I'm in Sheffield. Yeah. Um, if you don't know where that is, especially if you're abroad in the US or whatever, that's just the north of England. Mm. So, um, Chef, she's in the Midlands. And that might sound like he's miles away, but some, England's a small place, right? Yeah. Relatively speaking, so what? An hour and a half drive. An hour and a half. Yes. yes. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, hopefully we are planning, by God's grace, to live in the same town, in the same house, you know, <laughs> God willing. So the question was, how soon will we wait? Um, well, as soon as possible, um, because yeah. we're, you know, there was a lot of prayer and fasting involved as we were dating. Like Danny said, just as soon as possible, we're praying for God to open the way. There's been many restrictions at the moment yeah. in terms of like COVID-19 and and weddings and mm. things so um so mid-september was then as, as of today that's what we've got back um from wedding mm. uh venue um as the quickest is a soon most soon available date basically yeah. yeah so we are just trying to work with mm. whatever we can get yeah. through prayer and fasting we're trusting that god will open the way mm. when the time is right so yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the next question is, how did you both know you were meant to be? Now, this is where we can start talking <laughs> about the dreams. Yeah. And she helps me focus. <laughs> Sometimes I lose focus. That's yeah. all right. Okay. Back on track. Yeah. 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 We've, we've, trust it's, God. you know, trust and obey says what? When we walk with the Lord. They want me to sing now. In the light <laughs> of this world. What a the glory he sheds on our way. way. When we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's never what told we had we're to do. do. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was that was improvised. Definitely that, that improvised. Was not planned. Um, but yeah, so we have to trust and obey. And